Well, I'm Viviana Perez Colmenares. I was born and raised in Mexico City. I'm a fashion designer and I teach design. And the first thing you should know about me is that I'm very passionate about how garments are made and that I love black. Black is elegance, black is easy, black is bold, black is rebel. During my years as a student, I was often criticized because I was doing everything only in black, black garments, black prototypes, using black and white photos to communicate my work. So my final collection at school was a tiny revenge to all my teachers. So I use a very, very shiny yellow. But of course, I, black, black is always, black is always back. With my experimental collection, with this one that is called Visible, I try to mix other colors with a little bit of black. And this was based in the idea of being naked for dress all at once. It was by deconstructing a suit and I use materials such as wool, latex and tool, which will become a very important material for me later. But my main project is my brand, Heart of Darkness, is a label created in Mexico by me and my husband, Lorenzo Alvarez, an architect. Uh, we want to, to set timeless lines and of course, black is our only color full of nonsense that always hesitates on what to reveal and what to hide. We build clothes. Each of our creation follow its own rules, theme and processes. Uh, we think clothes is not just a seasonal creation, but just a, a piece that you want to keep forever and wear every day. And Heart of Darkness is inspired by techno, punk, ninjas. And well, this is an installation that we designed for the presentation of the edition two. I have always think that we don't need to have catwalks all the time. And during these uh, times, fashion weeks have been canceled. So we need to think about how to present our work in these, these strange moments. Well, we have been in quarantine for almost 12 weeks and I'm very lucky to be between my house and the studio. And when the viewers arrive to Mexico, I need to stop all my production. So I'm here by myself thinking and rethinking and reflecting if what should I do to contribute to this new normal. Uh, it has been very difficult times for me, especially in my creative part, in my creative practice, because there are so many concerns in the world. But music has always saved me. Music always transported me to other worlds and state of minds. And this is my favorite song of this moment. Whispers by Visage, by Visage. I hope you can listen to it. On the way to my studio, there is a market and outside of the market, there's a, a community of homeless women, men and even children. And I didn't realize that they didn't have any face masks. So I produced like 150 pieces with a cotton fabric that I have from a leftover of a production. And I gave these to people who work and live in the streets. For the first time in many days, that made me feel connected and realize how collaboration is a very important part of my work. And this textile is a piece I, I developed as a collaboration with the architect Frida Escobedo, and both physically and metaphorically speaks about weaving and connecting with people. Having friends or colleagues at my studio, thinking in new things, in new projects, having conversations, is one of the activities I miss the most. Last week by myself, I was playing with the pleated tool portal at my studio, creating textile sculptures and thinking of future proper developments and collaborations. As a creator, having ups and downs, being afraid, feeling creative or not, being sad or happy is normal. This pause is, I think we should appreciate it. And this is a visual diary I have been making these days to express how I feel. And I well, working through this strange moment, I have been deeply engaged in looking into the beauty that surrounds me, my culture, my roots, and my background. These two women are from Oaxaca, where my family is from, and I have been researching the textiles and fashion for, from 50 years ago to, to see how it evolved to the globalized world. Uh, I truly believe quarantine is very important for developing, growing, rethinking, reflecting, creating and I value the opportunity to slow down because I can make better decisions or see things from other other perspectives and most important just observe and be conscious. One of my most pressing thoughts right now is how important our hands are. Before COVID arrived the value of my hands was different from today. Today I feel that I can make everything with them like from making a table, harvesting in my yard, making a cake or even building a house. 
And something that, co that COVID has changed is the way we teach and how we learn. I was very scared of teaching my class with a computer screen, but I was very surprised how adaptable my students and me were. And they seem happier, they seem more independent, and they seem more in control with their projects. Maybe we need to have classrooms physically and virtually. And while talking about consumption, I think that this, this theme about consumption before COVID was, was in the air and everything, but I think we need to be very radicals. And for me as a designer, I think that we all should express our values through our clothing. Well, in the future, when we're able to travel again, I hope that it's going to be soon, I want to keep studying, learning, and practicing, and, speci and specifically, I want to learn a lot about waste loom and how to, to move my dance to create special textiles. So much has happened in these three months that should lead us to transform into a better society, better humans, with more tolerance, with more respect, and to understand each other needs to transform society into a better place in the world, of course. And for me as a designer, it means thinking through the value of working with our own hands. And I hope that this will soon, soon, uh, well, that it will be over soon and we can hug again, that we can feel less vulnerable, that we will stop covering our faces. But the first thing I will do is to celebrate with all my family and friends that this is over and I'm going to dance all night long. Thank you.